is the problem of that you have seen now. The same. Yes, it's a painful story. 29 year old Stephen Nguvulu is a victim of landmines. Nine years ago, he stepped on a landmine and that's how he lost one of his legs. And life has never been the same. We went to our farm where we cultivate maize. Then I didn't know that where I'm going, some they planted the, the landmines. Because of the wars which was uh, happening in Angola, those who were chasing out, those are the ones who planted the landmines. Such stories are common here in Chavuma district, northwestern province. In the past two years, government has been helping the victims. In 2010, I was given one mattress and 10 bags, 50 kg of maize to the DC. Then in 2012 again, we were, uh, we took, they, they took us, the government, to Lusaka for the same artificial eggs which we got from there. Defense and security forces in Chavuma have finally cleared the area of landmines. Thousands of landmines and other munitions found in the area have since been destroyed. We are working day and night, wanting to secure, more especially our uh, local family, uh, local people here. I remember very well in Chenwandumba, some farmers who were you know, cultivating. They came across with a sack of 187 ammunitions, and this is from Angola. The, the, the bullets were identified as from NATO Chinese made, which were also uh, picked and then were disposed of with some other grenade, which was also found in uh, other places like Sewe and other areas. And these also were uh, disposed of by the security wing. Several landmines and other munitions were left buried in Chavuma during the civil war in neighboring Angola and many residents were maimed and those that survived the blasts were left scarred for life. Poshalala, ZNBC News in Chavuma, Northwestern Province.